23-year-old Natalie Gutierrez is suing her former friend, 22-year-old Vanessa Medina, for excessive mileage, a parking ticket, and maintenance on a leased car. Ms. Gutierrez, you leased a car for Ms. Medina. Yes. You leased it in your name. Yes. From whom? From whom? From Honda. Did you fill out an application? Uh, yes, I did. May I see it? Yes. That is my... Shh. Do you want to tell me why you leased this car? Yes, um, Vanessa was currently living with me in 2017 with my parents, and she did not have a vehicle. I was her only form of transportation. I had my own vehicle, so I would be giving her car rides, driving her to and from work. I decided... So she was working? She was working, yes. Why didn't she lease her own car? Um, I don't know. I think she had credit issues, or she no, didn't... No, that's not an answer. She did not have money to buy a vehicle. Money to buy a vehicle is not an issue. Giving a down payment is one thing. Leasing a car for somebody else. Now, did you have insurance? I did. Was she named on your insurance? Yes. I'd like to see that. It's right here. This is the registration and the insurance. Got it. Good for you. Smart. You're suing her for two things that I can see here. One, she put too many miles on the car. Mm -hmm. And two, she got tickets when driving the car. Yes. Tickets are yours. Yes. How much were the tickets? Uh, I have one that shows up and it's for $84. What was that for? A uh, parking ticket at Manhattan Beach. Did she have any other tickets that you are aware of on the car? Not that I am aware of, just that one. Fine. So far she owes you $84. Correct. What else? So um, when I leased the vehicle, I agreed to drive 12,000 miles per year for the vehicle. When Vanessa actually dropped off the car on September 15th of this year, the vehicle had 22,000 plus miles. So she went 10,000 miles over the one year. I don't know where she was driving to. I don't know either. She didn't sign a contract. No, you I did. Didn't. That's what you get for signing the contract. And yes. it wasn't only me just using the car. It, I would take her to work as well whenever she felt the need that she didn't want to drive to work that day or she didn't want to park in a certain area where she worked at. You don't even have to worry about it. You're not responsible for the miles. She had a contract on miles, not you. Next, so far she owes you for parking tickets, $84. What else? Uh, Your Honor, I am suing her for the mileage because... I just, I just told you yes. that she's not paying for the mileage. Well, I'm, I'm, I need to let you know that she had a verbal agreement with me that she would use that vehicle and um, it doesn't matter. Like, I, I have to pay for this car note now. I have to pay for the car note. Next time, don't do it. Yeah. She well, asked for the car back. Next time, listen to me. Next time, don't do it. If somebody doesn't have good enough credit to lease a car on their own, and if you lease it for them, then you're an idiot. <laughs> you're an idiot. So I'm an idiot for helping someone that was in need at the time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I knew somebody had a history of having their cars repossessed, and I said, you know what, you can't get another car, so I'll take out the loan. You agree to pay the loan. They said, sure, I'll pay the loan. And you know that they have a track record of being unable or unwilling to make car payments, then you're an idiot. She was, now, she... there's just a second. Now, the two of you are the same age? I'm a year older. Well, about the same age. And if she can't get a car loan in her own name, then I would be smart enough to say, why not? And I can't help you. I'll give you a lift when I can, but I can't help you. You're a big girl, deal with it on your own. You deal with the mileage. Next, she owes you $84 for a ticket. That's her responsibility. Next. Uh, I mean, I'm still trying to push. $84, judgment for the plaintiff, we're done. Thank you very much. Parties are excused, you may step out.